Three ways to connect the TP-Link TLWA850RE via smartphone, via WPS, and via web browser. Before you start, quick heads up. Make sure your router is connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi at the very moment. And make sure you have two glowing indicators on your extender, wireless and power indicators. Now we can start. The fastest way to start using extender is by connecting via WPS. So to do this, you need just locate the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the front or on the back panel as on my router. Or if you don't have physical uh, WPS button, you can find it in the configuration uh, menu of your router in the web browser or application. Anyway, you need to find the WPS button on your router and press it. Press it once and then within two minutes press the WPS button on the extender. This is big round uh, button in the middle of the indicator. And then you see the indicator RE started to... Mm -hmm. Nahui. The easiest way to start using the extender is to connect via WPS. It's super easy. Just locate the WPS button on your router. Usually it's on the front or on the back panel, like on my router, or maybe you have the virtual WPS button in your router settings uh, in the configuration panel. Anyway, you need to find your WPS button on the router, press this button, and then within two minutes, press the button with the padlock icon on the extender. Now you see RE indicator started blinking. RE stands for range extender, so the process is underway. And very soon you will see the full indicator glowing solid blue. It means we are connected. Well, it's taken about 30 to 40 seconds and now we have the Wi-Fi signal, now we have the internet, internet. You see the Ethernet indicator is empty, this is because we are not connected via the Ethernet cable, but you can connect the extender directly to the router and use it as an access point, it gives you significantly higher speed. But now we are connected via WPS, this is wireless connection, and we can check for the new network. So uh, I have my main network is named my Wi-Fi. So my new network is named my Wi-Fi EXT, uh, which stands for extended. Uh, this is the single band extender, so it won't extend five gigahertz band. Let's connect to 2.4 gigahertz. That's it connected. Everything is successful. So now you can just relocate the extender. Uh, closer to your Wi-Fi dead zone. The best practice is halfway between the rotor and spotty area. But keep in mind that uh, the extender must be in the rotor's range. So you can look at the Wi-Fi signal. It, if it's too weak, you need to move the extender closer to your rotor. And let's move ahead. Now let's see how to connect using a smartphone. To do this, you need to go to your respective application store and download TP-Link Tether application. I already have this application installed, so let's go to the application. Uh, when you open the application for the first time, you have to log in or create a TP-Link ID. I already have the TP-Link ID to create it is super easy. Let me skip this step. You will easily manage it by yourself. It's like registration somewhere in Facebook and so on. Uh, I'll just log in. Fingerprint login maybe later. Let's close this so far. Now we are on the home screen of the application and I see uh, the, my main rotor in the devices list and I need to see the extender. To do this, go to Wi-Fi settings and select the TP-Link extender network. Now it's connected and we can go back to the application and here it is. Our local device and you can also tap on the plus 
uh, icon. If you don't see your device in this list, you can tap on the plus icon and tap on add a range extender. Make sure that LEDs are solid on, like, like here, and confirm this by tapping this button. And wait for scanning. Now it's connecting to the router. Now you need to set the device password. This is admin password to manage the settings. This is not a Wi-Fi password so far. But anyway, I recommend you to write it down somewhere. Because, because if you forget this password, you will have to reset the device and set it up from scratch in case you need to manage settings or something. Now let's select which network we wish to extend. My main network's name is my Wi-Fi. So let me select this network and enter my current password. Later, I will use this password to connect other devices to the extender. So password will be the same. So let's tap on next, check if everything is correct. Tap on next once again. And here I can rename my extender. I can give him another name, for example, bedroom, but I don't want to do it now. Just wait for settings to be applied and also you can observe the integrators change. You will see the wall circle glowing, uh, solid blue, except the Ethernet, of course. Now you can relocate uh, your extender somewhere to Wi-Fi spotty area, but uh, remember that you have to keep it in the router's range. Uh, and let's connect to new network. It's named my Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz extended. Connect it without password. No internet, I don't think it's true. Let's stop here to fix everything's work. Everything's working correct. And now you can manage different settings from this application. So you are connected now, you're all set, but if you wish to change something, you can change extender's name, password, uh, security type. You can go to more tab and for example, change the operation mode. Do you remember I told you that you can to connect via Ethernet cable directly to your router. Uh, and to do this, you need to put the device into access point mode. You can do it from here, from the more tab. Uh, you can control LEDs, you can turn it off. <laughs> you can go to night mode, but you have to set time from and to uh, discard changes and so on, guys. Uh, let's move ahead, I'll show you one more method. Of course, the most advanced is connection via web browser. It gives you total full 100% control. So to connect via browser, uh, first go to the Wi-Fi settings on your PC or Mac and connect to the TP-Link extender network. Let's click on connect. Once connected, open your browser open a new tab and in the address bar type in the following address 192.168.0.254 you don't need this slash here and press enter wait for a while it takes you to the welcome page here you need to create login password same as in application just a couple of minutes before let it be simple, but not too simple. I recommend you to use at least one letter. Write this password down to not forget. Don't save in browser. It's not very reliable. Uh, now select the network you wish to extend. I'm extending my network. This is my current network password. Of course, you have to enter yours. Click on next. Confirm that everything is correct. And here you can rename router, uh, sorry, extender. Let's rename just 
for fun. Uh, that's it. Now you can relocate the extender. Remember about the rotor's range. Remember about Wi-Fi signal indicator and so on. Click on done. And now you can connect to new extended network. If you don't see your new network, just wait for a while or scroll down. Hello world. That's what I need. Connect. Enter the network key. The network key is the same as for main rotor. OK, let's click on next. Wait for a while. Connected, secured, and let's check this checkbox. I have connected to the extended network. Click on finish. And this instantly takes us to the admin panel. Or not very, not so instantly. Okay, let's wait for a while. Well, sometimes it takes long, long time. Anyway, guys, uh, if you cannot access your admin panel uh, using this address, you can to access to your extender, extender settings anytime by entering to your rotor settings first. Let me enter to my rotor settings. I'll show you this because it's important thing to know. This is my rotor settings. Uh, I need to log in to my rotor. The password is admin. Maybe you have different password, but by default, usually for TP-Link, the password is admin. Uh, now you need to go to the advanced tab. It's for TP-Link. If you have another rotor model, uh, you need to make your way to the DHCP server. DHCP server and here find the DHCP client list and here uh, find your TLWA and so on and copy its IP address. This is local IP address and paste it into the address bar in the new tab and press enter. It will work anyway. Now we can close this tab. and log in to your new device. So now you can manage different settings, same as in application. Uh, one difference from web browser, you can create the backup file of your settings or if you have to reset your extender, uh, you don't have to set it up from scratch after reset. You can back up the settings in config.bin and then after reset, you can restore the configuration. Browse for this file, config.bin and click on restore. Uh, you can upgrade your firmware. So browse for a file. Uh, this model doesn't support automatic updates, so you need to uh, look for a file on the uh, manufacturer's website and upload it here manually. Uh, but anyways, uh, this method is most powerful. This is old school and this is full control. And now you know everything about how to connect the TP-Link to your home Wi-Fi network. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and be awesome. Bye, guys.